Grounded Boeing 737 MAX airplanes are flooding the east end of the Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake. The sight of the embattled birds resembles the infamous plane graveyard at the edge of the Mojave Desert in California. But these planes are very much alive. The number of jets appear to be six times of what they were when we did our initial story about the arrival of the aircraft in June. Yeah, we're seeing about uh, two planes or so a day, some days none, some days four. Uh, right now, I'd estimate we probably have over 50 aircraft there now. Flying in from Boeing Field in Redmond, the planes will remain here until the FAA determines that the fatal flaw in the fleet's flight control is fixed. The software glitch is responsible for the downing of two planes that killed nearly 350 people. Grant County International Airport Director Rich Mueller says there's no timeline as to when Boeing expects the planes to depart, but the ordeal has apparently forged a better working relationship between the Port of Moses Lake and Boeing. Boeing is uh, working with us now on something that's changed from the last conversation. We're happy to have them on the airfield. Uh, they are making some changes that will uh, improve the overall airfield and uh, they will leave those changes with us so they're actually improving as they go. We appreciate that. Boeing is paying for concrete repairs on the tarmac where the planes are stored. He also says there's plenty of space to store the plane should the fleet double or triple again. But he says he hopes it doesn't get to that point. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. Thank <laughs> you.